for years and years, my dad competed in short course racing, and he said, uh, Todd, you want to get into short course racing? I think you'd be really good at it. Back in uh, 2007, I said, you know what? Yeah. So we built the truck, and uh, it took us about three months. Went to my first race, and I was like, I'm hooked. The biggest difference between Pro 4 and Pro 2 is that you can be a lot more aggressive in the four-wheel drive class because there's so much more tractive effort. Two-wheel drive, you got to plant the rear wheels on a cushion. You got 900 horsepower, so you got lots of control there. And you can definitely overdrive a Pro 2 a lot easier than Pro 4. Pro 4 is, you know, really aggressive. You, you get that extra traction from the front wheel drive, and you can do a lot more things when you're racing other people. My first year Pro 4, my second race weekend was here at LCA. And uh, I came through turn one and snap rolled it, which was pretty spectacular. <laughs> and I hadn't really rolled it yet, so it was like my first wreck in the truck. And uh, it's funny because everything goes in slow-mo. So you're just like, ground, sky, ground, sky, is this gonna hurt? No, not too bad. And I landed on the wheels, and I was like, oh, cool, all right, well, I'm gonna start it, let's go, you know, and it started fine. Is it my favorite feature about the helmet? You know, I like the removable headliners. Um, I mean, you're getting so dirty out here, it's not a clean sport that, you know, being able to wash the inside of the helmet and, and feeling fresh every race is what we need. And that, that part of the helmet's nice, I mean, Obviously, I've gotten some crazy bad crashes, and I'm still here. Got my uh, my, my head still screwed on straight, so uh, I think they make a uh, very durable helmet that has all the features of uh, being able to clean it and you know non-fogging lenses and stuff like that. It's just comfortable and light, and uh, I've had a lot of like heavy helmets, and this one's super light, and it doesn't feel like it's uh, like when you're sitting in staging for a long time and you have to have your helmet on. Sometimes it's annoying, but. Uh, helmet that's this light like you don't really notice it and it's just really comfortable. Every year HAC does a special surprise for me with a helmet. They give me a, a special custom painted helmet and uh, actually I really don't have much input in it. I think it's Kyle there that, that goes ahead and decides what colors and, and uh, what design and so far everything they've done for me has been absolutely amazing. I'm always, I love my first I think that the progression though it's really nice because what point like I have Uh, when I started talking to HAC helmets, I knew I wanted to be in one helmet, and that was the FI-10R. Uh, as soon as we got it, I was like, unbelievable. I got it on, felt lightweight. I could see better than any other helmet I've ever worn before, and it's strong. You know, we've taken a lot of big hits from monster trucks to off-road, and the thing just keeps taking it and taking it, and uh, I feel safe in it, and I know that one day when crew starts racing, I'm gonna make sure that he's in the HAC helmet also.